Uh, let me ask you first, what do you say to the BJP's contention? Today, Prime Minister said, wo maidan chhodke bhaag gaye. Uh, to the BJP's contention that Rahul Gandhi wanted to pick a safe seat, he does not want to fight because he knows if he fights against Smriti Irani, it's going to be a tougher fight. He might even lose a second time. Therefore, he is risk averse and that's why he is fighting from Raibareli. How do you respond to that? No, nothing, nothing like it. Nothing like it at all. Both the seats, Amethi or Raibareli, are traditional seats from Raibareli also. Sonia ji contested many times. Then Indra ji also contested from the same seat. Firoz Gandhi ji also contested from Raibareli. So it is the choice of, you know, it is, uh, I think Kharge ji, the Congress president has decided which seat is uh, Rahul ji is going to fight. So ultimately the party president has given him, uh, has asked him to fight from, uh, from Raibareli and he's fighting from Raibareli. No, but ma'am, can I give you the timeline, the sequence of events that happened? April 26, the final CEC, the yeah. Central Election Co Committee meeting takes place. The decision is left to the Gandhis. April 30th, four days later, the Gandhis hold a meeting. Hmm. Rahul Gandhi denies he's not going to contest. He says he will not give up Vayanad. 1st of April, the next day, Sonia Gandhi and hmm. Mr. Kharge step in to convince Rahul Gandhi. They say that will be a cakewalk for the BJP if he does not contest uh, uh, against Smriti Irani and Amethi. 2nd of April, then uh, Amethi workers are told that Rahul Gandhi will be fielded and preparations are made in the Amethi office of the Congress party. And by 8 o'clock yesterday evening, the, uh, Rahul Gandhi says no to Amethi and, and Congress party workers are made to bring down uh, the cutouts and the decorations and banners and so on. Why all this drama when two weeks ago and the CEC concluded he could have said, I don't want to fight Amethi, let me fight from Raiva really. No, no, no drama at all, Zaka. It is ultimately the decision of the Congress president, party leaders and Rahul Gandhi. And if they are fighting from Rai Vreeli, then, then what is the harm in it? Let him contest. He is fighting from, why Prime Minister is fighting from, why he is not fighting from Gujarat? Why he is fighting from Banaras? He is ultimately, it's his choice, no? So if he wants to fight from Rai Vreeli, he will fight from Rai Vreeli, Kale Sharma. Is, is a loyal party man. He's worked day and night in Amethi and Raibareli. He worked closely. Every household of Amethi and Raibareli knows uh, KL Sharma. So KL Sharma ji is fighting from Amethi and, and hopefully he will win also. Okay, so let me ask uh, Sanju Verma. You know, Raibareli is one of 543 seats. Mr. Gandhi is free to fight from wherever he chooses to fight. He fought from Vayanad last time and this time. He's now fighting from Raibareli. Also, Raibareli seat has more historical, more emotional, more electoral connection with the Congress party than even Amethi. Amethi, Sanjay Gandhi first represented in 1980. Uh, Raibareli has been represented by Mr. Rahul Gandhi's grandfather, Firoz Gandhi, uh, way back in 1957. And su su subsequently, it's been held by his grandmother, his mother. So it has far more emotional and electoral quotient with the Congress party. So what's wrong in him deciding to fight from Raibareli? You know, Zaka, there is nothing wrong in Rahul Gandhi uh, choosing to abandon Amethi and deciding to contest from Raibareli. It is his prerogative and the prerogative of Malikarjun Kharge and the Congress party. So far, so good. But no matter how hard you try and with not, Rahul Gandhi has decided to leave the battlefield without even having the stomach to get into a fight. And in politics, if you don't have the stomach for a fight, then you're as good as done and dusted. And I'll just tell you what. When a captain leaves a sinking ship, you say that the captain is a traitor. When an army general leaves his soldiers in the midst of a raging war, high and dry, you call the army general a traitor. But you know, very quickly, uh, for the benefit of your audience, uh, without being verbose, I'll take 30 seconds to just tell you, you know, there are three parts in a chess game, Zaka. There is the opening game, the middle game, and the end game. And the opponent is given the uh, right to resign and withdraw from the game at any stage that he chooses to do so if he wish, if he feels that the other side you know is going to crush him they say that if the uh, you know uh, person who's eventually resigning or losing if he leaves in the opening game they say he's a coward but he has etiquette if he chooses to leave in the middle game he's also called a coward but they say he's got chess etiquette but if he decides to lose but also resign in the end game just you know few moves before he's going to be checkmated by his victorious opponent 
they say that this man who's eventually resigned and lost not only is a coward but he lacks chess etiquette because he did not even give his victorious opponent the pleasure of checkmating him brutally and rahul gandhi has denied smriti rani the chance of brutally checkmating him so rahul gandhi in chess parlance is a coward you know, who lacks etiquette it's interesting that you brought the chess analogy <laughs> Before I go to Nalin uh, Dolly Sharma, please respond. Uh, the chess analogy is interesting because Rahul Gandhi just put out a video, I think yesterday, saying how he thinks he's the best politician who plays chess. And Sanju Verma says he has lost and and etiquette, all chess etiquette is also not there. Yeah. No, you you told that you know I contested from Ghaziabad. Yes, I did. I have a small question. that general v k singh he fought gazabad uh, and in last elections he was uh, continuously he was uh, an mp from gazabad for last 10 years he he won with a margin of 5 lakh votes and why he was not fielded again and why did they give uh, a ticket to the land mafia atul garg in place of no, no, army general no that is a decision the party took I have your this party question. no no your party no, no, is also I free to take that question. decision he he won with the margin of 5 lakh votes fair in gaziabad why he was not Fa fair enough again? no no but so it is ultimately the choice of party leaders okay. the party see ultimately it is the choice of party leaders the party president the cc exactly. like we have in our party they must be having some some people who mm. sit and decide who's going to fight which seat who's going to you know the same way our party has a system but, but we also have just one uh, one, out, one uh, clarification according to that system ah. and we have fielded no, no, rahul gandhi ji in rai yeah one one clarification So uh, before i go to nalin mehta no no the clarify system. the difference is that uh, if mr gandhi said he wants to fight from avet amethi i don't think anybody in the congress party with due respect to everyone in the congress party i don't think even the congress president would have said no whereas in the case of the bjp it's the high command that took that decision and anyone in that party will not be able to say no high command has not given me a ticket uh, therefore you know i'm leaving the party or so uh, there are instances of course in rahul gaswan for example in in uh, churu has, has decided to rebel fair enough no no but I, mrs gandhi yeah. mrs indira I, gandhi i'm just saying the the clarification is that mr gandhi decided not to fight in amethi not the congress high command